Alright, look, I got some more facts to spread. Be honest, everybody, with the Apple Watch. You only really use it when you need to pin your iPhone because you can't find it. The Blue Jolly Rancher is the best one. Twizzlers are delicious. You're either watching this on the toilet or on your bed. You're also procrastinating about something right now. Tomatoes are disgusting, but ketchup and salsa are both delicious. Milky Ways are disgusting. Since you've been on TikTok, you've probably changed the way you dress. Men, the correct way to eat a banana is to take a piece off with your finger and eat it like so. You probably look back at your past self and think, who let me do that? But in reality, in a couple years, you'll probably look back at yourself now and think, And lastly, to reiterate, <clears throat> soda is pronounced soda and not pop. Thank you for your time. All right, I got some more facts for y'all. I will never be too old to watch SpongeBob. If you never played that game as a kid where you had to jump onto things because you thought the floor was lava, you have not lived your life. Y'all ever been in class and had one of those dreams? You know, you got your head down and then you start falling in your dream. And as soon as you wake up, you'd be like, oh, shit. And the teacher be like, you straight? You'd be like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. If you have not spent at least a couple months binge watching either Family Guy, The Office, or Friends, I don't know if we can actually be friends. If we're in a relationship and you play with my hair, I'm getting a ring. I like the hot more than the cold because it's much better for me to be sweating than freezing my ass off. If you see me walking with my headphones in, do not talk to me. Give me a minute. I am in thug mode, okay? I am whipping and flipping bricks in my head, okay? And you talking to me is no. Lastly, if you live in the South where you know it can tend to get very hot and humid, please put on deodorant. Please. Thank you for your time. These are some things I cannot stand. I hate the fact that I have to sit in class for hours learning about the different things in the curriculum that you have set, and then you give me a test that has absolutely nothing on it that we have talked about in class. I mean, damn, the test might as well be in French instead of English. I hate the fact that I meticulously buy things for the school year, like mechanical pencils, highlighters, notebooks, whatever I need, but somehow over the course of like three weeks, I'm left with half of a wooden pencil I found on the ground and a sheet of paper somebody gave to me in my last class. I used to hate getting in trouble for things that I wasn't doing. If my friend is talking to another friend why do you always look at me like Xavier why are you talking no I'm sorry ma'am but that was Brian and teachers make the biggest deal out of things that don't even matter like you over here can't even teach your curriculum but you mad because I'm chewing gum and lastly teachers the bell does dismiss me what are you gonna do write me up for leaving a class that's over thank you for your time this one goes out to all the people who have to deal with siblings. You don't know frustration if you've never had to fight over the bathroom with your sibling. And what makes it worse is say y'all fighting over who gets to take the first shower. Whoever ends up taking it is gonna be mad spiteful towards you. They gonna be in the shower like 45 minutes just to make sure you ain't got no hot water. And food? Oh, don't even get me started. I might be biased because I'm the youngest sibling, but why is it that the older siblings eat everything in the house? Yo, sometimes... I don't even get two bowls of cereal out of the whole box. It happens with cereal and ice cream too. Have a bowl this small and it be piled all the way up here like it's a mountain. You ever see your sibling just walking around chilling, just lounging, and you start to notice like, hey, I know you ain't got my socks on. And he's be sitting there like, oh, oh my bad, it, it was in my pile. You knew they was my socks. <sighs> Thank you for your time. Yo, I got a question. Have y'all ever fallen asleep in class and a couple minutes into your nap you have a dream that you're falling? That has got to be one of the scariest things ever. I mean, the power of that dream is impeccable. Like, how does it launch me up like that? I mean, it wakes me up so hard. Even the teacher is looking at me and the only thing they can say is... Are you okay? Another thing, why is it that every time you're actually being attentive in class and raising your hand, the teacher never calls on you? But the one time that you decide not to raise your hand and put your head down so you don't gotta answer the question, they go, um... Xavier, what do you think the answer is? Another thing that I find funny is when you and your friends used to be in class actually talking and you got in trouble for it, it got so awkward. Even if you tried to laugh it off or whisper or something, you can't get past the awkwardness. You, you got caught. And lastly, no disrespect, but yo, I used to hate the people that would suck up to the teacher. Because it's like, yo, you so busy trying to be like, you don't even see that the teacher don't like you either. Thank you for your time. 
School administrators and teachers, listen up. I never understood why y'all are so pressed about me chewing gum. No disrespect, but most of y'all can't even teach your curriculum because you're giving me stuff to study that's not even going to be on a test, but yet you worried because I'm chewing gum. No matter of fact, excuse me because I'm actually worried because you teaching me math and this is English. And another thing, headphones, okay? I understand the whole safety precaution, blah, 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 blah. But do you really have to sprint down the hallway full speed to tell me to take my headphones out? It takes me two or three minutes tops to get to my next class, okay? I'm just trying to listen to Earthquake for two minutes to get to class in a good mood. Another thing, teachers, please find a way to incorporate hands-on learning because how do you expect me to learn sitting in a class not even able to move or talk for an hour and a half and you're being boring going over a slide the entire class? What information do you think I'm retaining from this? And last thing, please understand that students can have bad days too. It's not just y'all. Thank you for your time. This one goes out to all the people with strict parents. One of the things I hate the most about having strict parents is that they need to establish trust with your friends. Like, you need to give a whole backstory of your friends before your parents start to trust them. And what pisses me off more than anything else is when they don't remember your friends. Like, yo, my mom does not remember any of my friends. They can have spent the night three nights in a row, and two months later, I'm like, Ayo, you remember Danny? And she's like, who is... Have I heard that name before? I mean, he only spent the night in your house. Another thing strict parents like to do is hit you with what I like to call tight lip yelling. Tight lip yelling is where you yell, but you don't use your jaw at all. An example of this would be when you go to the grocery store and you grab something that you know your parents not gonna let you get, and you try to put it in the cart anyways, and then they hit you with that. Put it back. And I don't even know how they do it, because they're yelling at you, but they're not even moving their jaw. They're just... Like, do you know how mad you have to be to yell at somebody and not even move your jaw? Thank you for your time. Let me go on a rant about fast food real quick. First of all, McDonald's Sprite might as well be alcohol. Because if I take a sip of McDonald's Sprite and it makes my face do this, it might as well be alcohol. Because what I don't understand is how can soda make my face do that? Another thing, McDonald's and Chick-fil-A are infamous for this. Why are y'all fries so hot? There's always that one time that I come in and I get some fries and they be steaming hot. And what makes it worse is I be hungry, so I be eating it like... <laughs> Like, you know something is hot when you be chewing it, like, <laughs> your mouth be open, you be blowing out the hot air, trying to get new air in. Another thing, let me go ahead and solve this universal debate real quick. Bojangles and Popeyes are about 50-50, because whatever Bojangles doesn't have, Popeyes has. But whatever Popeyes doesn't have, Bojangles has. They're both good. Lastly, if you don't like Polynesian and Chick-fil-A sauce, what are you doing with your life? Thank you for your time. All right, listen up. The cold season is approaching and there's certain things I need to address. If we're standing outside in the cold and you see me quiet standing there not talking to anybody, do not ask me why I'm not talking. It is way too cold outside for me to be talking to you right now, okay? I can talk to you. Matter of fact, we can have a long conversation as soon as we get inside to some heat. And it's funny because the cold will turn nice people into straight bullies, yo. Look, you try talking to a nice person while it's cold outside. You're going to say something to me. Hey, shut up. I ain't talking to you right now, it's above me now, okay? I'm not talking to you until we get inside. As the fall season approaches, it is becoming sweater weather and hoodie season. So do not ask me if I have something on under my hoodie, because no, okay, I don't. Thank you very much. And lastly, just because it's cold, don't think that you could get away with not wearing deodorant. No, 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 you need to be clean, you need to wear deodorant, and you need to brush your teeth and floss. Thank you for your time. I'm about to drop some facts about cartoons. First things first, you are never too old to watch cartoons. The best episode of Spongebob is either the conch shell episode or either the episode where Squidward eats too many Krabby Patties and then Spongebob looks at him like... I got some beef here, okay? I was a little frustrated that in Tom and Jerry, Tom was always portrayed as the antagonist. He's not the bad guy. He's a cat doing what every other cat does. The funniest and most nostalgic moments of my childhood were when I would pause the TV so I could go to the kitchen, get a snack, get a drink, and then come back and sit on the couch and then press play so I could watch Looney Tunes. I don't know what it is. It's just something about Bugs Bunny outsmarting every single individual ever that just intrigues me. I am well aware this is about to be a very controversial statement, but I'm gonna say it. Cartoon Network was better to me than Disney. And now that that's off my chest, thank you for your time.